welcome to Relax and Paint. And this morning, uh, whenever you watch this, I'm going to be working on just a fun, let me show you how quick it is to paint some roses that are just kind of slip slap. And um, I always, with one stroke, is always showing you the one stroke way. So sometimes that's really simple and fun. And um, it makes something that you're like, oh my gosh, I want to try that. So I'm going to go into water with my mop brush. This is a larger mop brush. You have two sizes, depending on what size canvas you're working on. I'm going to pick up a little bit of citrus. And I want a little watercolor effect in the background. Okay. So you can see it can kind of run a little bit. Um, and... I'm going to have a lot of color as we come down that gets darker, all right? So as I'm taking my heat pen and I'm blowing it downward a little bit, you can take and just have that background color just a little bit. And then I'm going to start picking up color in here that will... This is still with that wet mop brush. It holds a lot of water, so it's kind of cool. All right. And this is going to be some fun roses, all right? And I think that you'll see that this gives you a watercolor effect back in the background. All right. But now watch what happens. I want it way dark. And I didn't go back into water again, guys. I just kept picking up. These relaxing paints are just like, look what I can do. You can do it too. Let's try it together. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you happen to see this pop up, please subscribe. That's what helps me keep going. So, and YouTube seeing what, what you guys like makes a difference. And we have memberships, so you can come join my membership. And I teach how to use all kinds of tools. All right, so citrus, this is all multi-surface paint. So multi-surface paint has a sealer in it. It's indoor, outdoor, on all kinds of surfaces. That light's pretty bright. Um, all kinds of surfaces. So I just want you to see that I have this, and then I'm going to just here and there put some swatches of color in here in the background. Well, I can pick up a teeny bit of white, and I'm just using the same a mop brush. But let me show you, if I use a smaller mop brush, you can pick up some teal, and you can just make a few little brush strokes that kind of looks like, I wonder what color that was. Oh, that's aqua and teal. All right, so just a little bit here and there. And I don't know where that's going to show through, but it just gives you some color in here. All right. All right. So now I will come in here with an angle brush. And the, my angle brush is coming in a three-piece set. This is the middle size. All right. Well, where does it say? This is a three-eighths. All right. So I'm going to come right in here, and I want the toe See, this is the toe and this is the heel. I want the toe to have the brighter color. All right. So then this is what's going to happen. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put some roses up there. I'm going to have a few coming from different areas. All right. And maybe a rosebud. Okay. Now, I will be doing some leaves. See that? See the bright color? All right. With some teal, so citrus and teal. All right. Kind of fun. We will come in here. This makes every leaf kind of have a point really easily. Okay. All right. Just put it a little bit like this. Now, I'm going to come in <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little bit. I'll put some um, 
purple colors. This is neon purple. And I'm going to just put some of that color here or there. Okay. Let's put it stronger there. All right, I did put some pinks. Uh, let's get some medium in the middle. This is my double loader. It helps you be able to um, separate your colors, have a nice palette of colors. All right, so this is just showing you some pretty colors in the background. This is pink. This is a bright pink. All right, and then I put some, this is color shift, some pretty color purple. And color shift and neon purple, what about that? Color shift and neon purple. I'm just putting some of that around. I think you might like that color when it's all said and done. Okay, pretty abstract so far, right? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to come in with my mop brush and I'm going to pick up Juneberry. All right. So I'm going to come right in here. And this is a purpley pink. And when you put white, it looks even more purple, but it's kind of a in between a really pretty. I usually use magenta. This is a little bit purplish magenta. Makes it real pretty rose. All right, so I'm just getting the shape of a rose and I'm using the small mop brush. All right, and we have a piece going off the edge here. A piece going off the edge here. Want to add some pretty colors you're going to like in here. And let's just come here. We'll do a bud over here. Maybe a bud over here. That'd be a pretty rose bush. Okay, there we go. See the color? Now, I am going to come in here with a 16. All right. Now, I've got all kinds of greens in here. Maybe down around here, some darker greens. Okay. I'm going to wash this. This is what I want you to see. I'm going to pick up apple red. It's wonderful and bright and pretty. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and put some red. Let's turn this around. Let's get some red. All right. So look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So chisel, chisel, lay it flat, lay it flat. Okay, so, and that's you very pretty. It still looks like a red rose. All right, let's go here. One, two, three. And then you're coming across here. Four, five. Okay, so that gives you some depth. Let's try this right here. I'm going to go one, two, three across. That needs some dark in the middle. Okay, now watch. Chisel. Okay, I want to pick up some Juneberry with that. There. Okay, you see that color? Okay, so here's this. A little bit of rosebud. Now watch this. One, two, three, four. So that's the bud, the center of the rose. It's 
So isn't that kind of fun? Let's try this. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go five, six, across. So chisel, chisel, chisel across the end. Now you want this to just show layers from right up here to right down here. The roses. Isn't that kind of fun? It's simple, but look at all the pretty color. This is a very abstract painting. Just, I want y'all to have fun. And just, we're putting lots of paint color. We're going chisel, chisel. And you guys can start this over, pick up your brush. And every time I'm picking up red, I'm chiseling across. And do a little bit at a time and, and do this with me. So see all those pretty colors in the background? Those really added to it. Now we're almost done. I want you to see this one's facing that way, facing that way, that way. This one's going in. So let's take this one in. So here's your triangle. Let's box it off. Okay, so look. Chisel, chisel. Let's go across them down here. And see that Juneberry just makes it look real rich. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I just thought it was fun. I was playing with it and I thought, I'm going to do this with them. I think they'll like it. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to take that red off. And you can see... Uh, we took some aqua in here. Some purple. This is purple flash. It's um, a fun color shift. And it's right on my website, onestroke.com. This is purple flash. And there's all kinds of other flash colors. So y'all need to go check it out if y'all think it looks good. It kind of gives a yummy looks to the painting. All right, so I'm going to come right in here. <clears throat> oh, I probably need to get my angle brush again because that's what makes these. <clears throat> angle brushes for you guys who can't do a little vine where you're happy or you can't. <clears throat> do a leaf with a point and my newbies go I want an angle brush give me an angle brush <laughs> all right so can you see this gives you a stem really easily and then watch what happens I'm going to come around this rose push lift more paint push bring it around then See how easy that is? I just pick up the color on the toe, push and come around, push. And then I can come down like this and have a couple of these hanging down. Now this rose is up in the middle of nowhere without a stem. <clears throat> now look what happens. Let's get citrus with this. Wiggle a little bit. Wiggle a little bit. And a little bit here. Okay, so I want to challenge all you guys in my Facebook group. Donna Dewberry's official one-stroke group <clears throat> to try this and share it we love you have to join my facebook group and when you join you have to answer the questions or we can't let you join so we have lots of people that want to join and they don't answer the questions they're simple questions but it is oh look at that okay i thought i need some white but i don't think i do Oh, maybe a little bit. 
Oh, just a teeny bit. What do y'all think about that? Oh. Okay, guys. Sign it and share it. <clears throat> Good morning, and I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to come here and sign. This is my double loader that helps you load your paintings and keep them separate. You're out there trying one stroke and, and you're not landing like you want. Please pick up my double loader. It's magic. And it's got a lid and all, everything on it. You put the lid on it and it keeps your paint fresh so you don't waste paint. There you go. So thank you for being on today. See you next time. Mm -hmm.